Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mananam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to watch a video by Sadhguru um, talking about Bolananth or Shiva, the innocent God. Um, this is just a, a short clip, but we're trying to kind of enlighten ourselves a little bit more about Shiva. We have yeah. learned a lot about him and Lord Shiva and now that Naga Panchami is coming and he is kind of the God we will be praying for at this time, we are trying to expand our knowledge um, a little bit more on him. Yeah. And um, so this was one that you guys have sent to us to, to learn a little bit more about Lord Shiva. And Naga Panchami. Which and Naga Panchami. Which we're going to do. And we did have the lingam that we brought inside the house that a lot of you were concerned about. Mm -hmm. But we are going to welcome him inside. Properly. And properly. And feed him every day. Mm -hmm. And we actually just made cure. So. Yeah. So we're getting ourselves ready. We're excited to make rangoli. Um, yeah. You know, Daddy has a snake, a lovely snake design for us to do on the driveway again, um, like we did for, for Diwali, which was awesome. Yeah. Um, so the kids are excited about doing that and helping with that. And so, like I said, we're just going to start up this lovely video. There is a whole host of incidents or situations which happen on the south side of Kailash. All kinds of people got the best things from Shiva. The world would judge that these people don't deserve it. But he never made the judgment. When they asked, he gave. All of you know, Bhishma Surya. So this is a, a yogi who comes and asks Shiva that he wants to have this power that whoever he touches, they should turn into ashes. Shiva says, okay, have it. Then the guy wants to put his hand on Shiva's head. So he wants to try whether it works or not on Shiva. So Shiva got up and ran. And then, uh, as usual, he consulted Vishnu what to do. Vishnu said, wait, and he transformed himself into Mohini or a very enchanting woman. So he came and he danced in front of Basmasura. Basmasura forgot about Shiva and ran up to this woman. So she said, you must dance as I dance, then I'm yours. He said, okay. So she did this, he did this, she did this, she did this, everything happened, this, 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 and she did this. So he also did that and became ashes. Shiva is always seen as a very powerful being, at the same time, not so crafty with the world. So one form of Shiva is known as Bole Nath because he is childlike. Not that he's stupid, but uh, he doesn't care to use intelligence in all those petty ways. <laughs> it's only shrewd, low-level intelligence which is constantly thinking how to get better of, of somebody. Intelligence and street smart guile are two different things. Being smart is always in comparison with somebody else. Being intelligent is in not in comparison with anybody else. It's just by its own nature. So intelligence is significant because intelligence is never in competition. It is simply an expression of life. This story really seems to represent Lord Shiva, um, you know, how powerful he really is. But at the same time, you know, he, he gives in to the people that love him. You know, yeah. he gives the devotees what they ask for, not really seeing if they're good or bad. Um, but even if he gives them, you know, the bad people, I guess, what they're asking for, it seems like it, it turns around on them. Like, yeah. they don't keep those 
powers if they're bad. It somehow bites them in the butt. Yeah. It's like a snake. It bites them in the butt. (laughs) And definitely, like, Shiva's powerful and people are Mm. afraid of him because of his third eye that if he opens, the world destroys. And we know that. But... It's, he's also cares about the people, like when he drank the poison, so the poison wouldn't be there, so people wouldn't die. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, so he has some compassion, too. Yeah, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Daddy, who, if you get bad grades or you break something, he can get really upset, Mm. but if you ask for something like a toy or a treat or something, he's, he won't say no. He's automatically going to get it for you. Daddy never, almost never says no. Yeah. And then he has to come look for mommy when there's too many sweets have been eaten and the kids are jumping everywhere, right? Um, Yeah, he definitely has um, a lot of power. And I think we don't hear about him quite as much. At least I feel like we haven't. Or maybe we just haven't done enough on Chiba. Maybe we haven't done enough. So we are going to definitely find some more videos. Um, so keep them sending them to us. And we are very excited. Very um, excited. The cure is almost done. We are going to get ready. We have to invite him into the house properly and um, feed him every morning with prayer. And um, we have to. We have some snakes living in our backyard that just happened just to pop up, up right before Nag Panchami. Um, this last week or so. So we have lots to do before Nag Panchami. So we're really excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful growing Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.